Everyone was concerned that Microsoft and ChatGPT would kill Google a few months ago. How did this happen to Google? Has Google found a perfect competitor? However, Google is making an effort to respond, so let's see what's happening. In a single day in February, the value of Google stock fell by $100 billion. Bard, the company's AI chatbot, had a very bad debt. Everyone noticed the mistake in the response. Google has lost its way, everyone agreed. Right now, if you write, will Google lose, into the search bar, the first suggestion that comes is, will Google lose to chat GPT? But guys, see the situation has changed. AI was mentioned more than 140 times at Google's two-hour annual conference by the execs. Every product they manufacture incorporates it in some way. The public embraced it. The price of Google stock rose 8%. What comes to mind right now is, how on earth did Google reverse its AI fortune so quickly? There are a few things to be sure. However, before we do that, it's important to understand why Google joined the party so late in the first place. One explanation is what Google didn't want to destroy, search ads, which are the goose that legs the golden egg. What about search advertisements? Then, what connection does it have to the golden egg? Tag along. Simply write your inquiry into the box to get a comprehensive list of blue links in response, and Google gave marketers the option to make keyword bids. The highest paying customers would be at the top of the list. Additionally, we typically clicked on something from page one because we have short attention spans and don't want to scroll through numerous links and pages. Google made a lot of money doing this because it was the dominant search engine at the time. Over 60% of Google's top line comes from search advertising. Even the iPhone doesn't matter all that much to Apple. About 50% of the business's revenue comes from it. Imagine a situation where you could obtain information without clicking on a blue link ever again in your life. Simply type your question to receive a straightforward explanation. Amazing, isn't it? However, this will be the end of Google. Their ad revenue would be destroyed. It will be impossible for the computer giant to compensate advertising for clicks since nobody would click on anything anymore. When the chatbot is available in different versions like GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, this is what is happening in the current scenario. We simply type the query and hunt for an easy solution. Guys, the course of events has changed at this point. The best rival to chat GPT versions has been discovered by Google. An AI chatbot called Sparrow is credited with helping to design more secure machine learning systems. The Chinchilla language model from DeepMind powers Sparrow, a chatbot that was originally released in September 2022. The AI chatbot Sparrow might enter private beta, says Demise Hassabis, the CEO and founder of DeepMind. In their study, Sparrow is emphasized as a dialogue agent by DeepMind Technologies, a unit of Alphabet. This AI-driven chatbot aids in reaching the likelihood of unfavorable and improper reactions. Our agent can converse with a user, react to questions, and perform Google searches when it's helpful to do so to support its conclusions. To improve the functionality of the current models like ChatGPT, Google's AI tool Sparrow uses a new generation of language models. It is designed to be more efficient and accurate than previous models since it can understand and respond to natural language input in a more human-like manner. Want to learn more? The AI tool Sparrow has the potential to replace current AI tools like Chatbot, which is often used for language translation, chatbot development, and other natural language processing tasks. One of its main advantages over ChatGPT is its ability to understand the context. This makes Sparrow better at handling new data, which is a common challenge for contemporary AI tools like ChatGPT. ChatGPT can receive a response from DeepMind Sparrow chatbot for Google. DeepMind Sparrow language model is based on their Chinchilla model and has a limited number of options. The language model outperformed GPT-3 in typical language benchmarks. And since Sparrow has internet access through Google, it may include the most recent information in its responses. Although GPT-4 is built on the more complex GPT version 3.5, Sparrow might perform on par with ChatGPT or even better. Because Google has access to more powerful language models like Palm, the likelihood of success is very high. Another advantage of using Sparrow is that a single model may do a variety of tasks. It can do a wide range of NLP tasks, including language translation, text summarization, and question answering. As a result, 
It is a versatile tool that may be used in a range of circumstances. Sparrow is beneficial and reduces the likelihood of providing incorrect or inappropriate replies. Reinforcement learning, a common AI training technique, was used by DeepMind researchers to construct the Sparrow chatbot. In the reinforcement learning approach, a neural network is used to do a task repeatedly until it is capable of doing it flawlessly. Networks themselves find ways to increase their accuracy through repeated tries and errors. The business combined reinforcement learning with user feedback while creating DeepMind Sparrow. To gauge the precision and accuracy of the AI-powered chatbots, the Alphabet division enlisted a group of users to ask questions to DeepMind Sparrow. Users selected the response they believed to be the most correct from the chatbot's range of responses to a particular query. The Sparrow chatbot from DeepMind has a lot of potential advantages. With Sparrow, Google could counter ChatGPT and its rival Lambda and Flamingo language models, which were well known before the other open AI products' popularity. By 2020, Google might create a chatbot similar to Mina that can have engaging interactions with humans. Sparrow will be able to include up-to-date information in its responses because of the additional advantage of being able to access the internet through Google. Because of this, it will be far more accurate and useful than other chatbots down on the market. DeepMind's chatbot will also produce more sources that are similar to AI's responses. Users now have additional opportunities to research relevant projects that interest them. DeepMind plans to offer a limited trial of its chatbot, Sparrow, in 2023. It was first revealed to the public in a research report released the previous year, where it was described as a dialogue agent developed to provide useful responses while lowering the likelihood of an unsafe or inappropriate response. DeepMind claims that Sparrow can be used to train other chatbots to be more trustworthy and helpful. The ability of Sparrow to recognize potentially harmful user searches, such as how to hotwire a car, was one example given. Sparrow might provide Google with a way to employ DeepMind to launch a for-profit chatbot, giving them a competitor to Google's search and open AI. Sparrow will allow Google to comfort its investors while also demonstrating that it is prepared to take swift action if chatbots begin to outperform human searchers. By making Sparrow a commercially oriented chatbot available through DeepMind, Google will be able not to just compete with OpenAI, but possibly outperform it. It would enable the company to pacify investors, react quickly to any potential use of chatbots to find new staff, and attempt to benefit from this cutting-edge technology. Sparrow appears to offer Google a great opportunity overall to keep its competitive edge. Sparrow, a powerful new generation of language models developed by Google, has the potential to replace chat, GPT, and other existing AI tools. Sparrow can execute a variety of task, grasp the context, and increase productivity, making it a versatile and reasonably priced solution for work involving natural language processing. Even though ChatGPT is still widely used, advancements made by Google's AI tool in the area of natural language processing may make it a well-liked choice soon. Stay tuned for more exciting updates in the world of artificial intelligence. Do drop your views in the comment section below. Until then, bye.